hat, postman hat, postman hat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure there'll be knock, ring, letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. It was a cloudy morning in Greendale. But as Pat set out along the valley on his way to the village post office, it brightened up. A large van was parked in the narrow road. It was Sam's mobile shop. It was going to be a tight squeeze getting past. Come on, straighten up. Come on, you could get a bus through there. Plenty of room. Hello, Sam. Thanks. Could you, uh, could you give these to Mrs. Atkinson, please? Right, old Pat. Mind how you go. Oh, dear. I think we're stuck. It's all that rain. It's made the ground boggy. Hello, Pat. Still here? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm stuck in the mud. I'll give Pete Fogg a shout as I go past. He can tow you out with his tractor. Hang on. Thanks, Sam. Ah, uh, well. Looking at life through a farmer's eyes Always aware of the changing skies The wind and the rain They all make their claim As he plows and he sows And sets seeds into rows He sees all the wonders That nature can bring As he works all the year To bring rich harvests in Looking at life through a farm aware of the changing skies hedgerows with birds wild animals and trees in the bright summer sun he sees busy honeybees and he's working with nature as all round the farm he'll try to make sure good things come to no harm summer and winter seasons all through there's never a time when there's nothing to do Setting the crops and preparing the land He always can do with a good helping hand Looking at life through a farmer's eyes Always aware of the changing skies he works between forests and valleys and hills For the flat even plains with an unbroken view But wherever it is, still the farmers can claim That they work for our bread with their harvests of grain 
Wherever it is, the farmers can claim that they work for our bread with their harvests of rain. Peter came at last. Hello, Peter. Can you tow me out, please? <laughs> My van's stuck in the mud. Easy. Sam said you'd need help. Uh, I'll just back up. Then uh, just tie it on there. Right. All right. Ready. Bye. Thanks a lot. Pat was on his way again. Morning. Morning, Pat. You're a bit late today. Yes. I got held up down by Atkinson's. I was trying to get past Sam's van, and I got stuck on the grass verge. Then I had to wait for Peter Fogg to come and pull me out with his tractor. Oh, a good thing he did. Look, Major Forbes' bull. It won first prize at the county show. Isn't it a magnificent animal? Have you seen it? <laughs> no, and I don't think I want to either. There's a letter for the Major, so you might meet the bull. Better keep a sharp lookout. I'd run a mile if I saw it. Cheerio. Ted Glenn was waving to Pat to make him stop. Some fools left a gate open. I bet it's those campers. The sheep have got into the clover field. It'll kill them if they eat too much. Uh, can you give me a hand to drive them back? Yes, of course I will. I used to work on a farm when I was a lad. Have they gone far then? You can see them up there. They've spread out a bit. We'd better get after them. Hang on, Pat. <laughs> We've left a gate open now. We're as bad as the campers. I'll shut it. Uh, you go that way, and I'll go this. Right. was warm work. What's that funny noise? Hey up, it's that bull. Run! Oh! 
Oh! Hey, wait for me! What's up, Ted? Oh, it's my ankle. Oh, by gum, it does hurt. Ouch! I can't get up. I think I've broken it. Now what are we going to do? You can't sit here till it gets better. I'd better go and get Dr Gilbertson from the village. Won't be long. Pat gave Dr Gilbertson her letters and told her about Ted's broken ankle. Oh dear, my car's in Pencaster being serviced, said the doctor. Then I'll take you in my van. So Dr Gilbertson brought her bag. She sat in Jessie's place. Ted was glad to see the doctor. Oh! Ooh! Ouch! She soon bandaged his ankle up. It wasn't broken, just badly sprained. Try not to put too much weight on it now. Pat's walking stick came in handy. Thanks, Pat. Oh. Eat my gum. You'll have to ride amongst the letters, Ted. Easy now. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Jess rode on Dr. Gilbertson's knee until they arrived back at the surgery. Bye, Pat. Ted was glad to get home. You all right now? I'll manage. Thanks for helping. Cheerio. Bye. Pat was on his way again. He still had a lot of letters and parcels to deliver. Hello, Alf. Hello, Pat. Uh, thanks for getting the sheep back. It's the same thing every year. Gates left open all over the place. We'll have to have words with them campers, won't we, Dot? What a morning, Jess. Rounding up sheep, dodging bulls, fetching doctors. And now we're late with all this post. We'll have to get a move on this afternoon. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Boom, 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 boom,